but I realized I've hardly told you guys anything about my backstory, how I got into fish keeping in the first place, and you know, a bit of background into the new build that I'm setting up at the moment. So I wanted to share that with you guys in this video. And I guess it all started when I was about three years old, um, when I got my first few goldfish, which unfortunately I think I loved them to death. <laughs> But, um, and then it grew to, you know, guppies and having them. And, you know, back in the day, I kept them in a clear teapot and somehow they bred. I know that's a huge no-no, but I did. And, you know, at every single stage of my life, I've always tried to have fish in some way. Um, you know, we lived in Cambodia for 18 months setting up a children's home and we had one of those scoop flush toilets where you had that reservoir of water to scoop and flush your toilet and I kept guppies in there and you know every time you went to the toilet you had to kind of dodge and make sure you didn't scoop up a guppy <laughs> when you're flushing the toilet but I've just always loved having fish in my life and I've always had them. Check this out. So yeah, we ended up in Albany and um, yeah, this place is such a gorgeous place to bring up the kids. It's um, such a chilled out. There's so many places like this to walk. Um, so many, yeah, bushwalks. It's beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, I always had, you know, I started off with more tropical fish um, and I guess I always felt like um, saltwater fish were, you know, for marine biologists or, you know, something that I could never, you know, achieve. Like, yeah, and then I went to my local fish shop and um, they told me about, you know, doing canister filters on saltwater tanks and I was like, oh yeah, I might give that a crack. I ended up getting that six foot tank for an absolute bargain. It was 350 um, with like three canister filters and all these extras. Um, so yeah, it was an absolute bargain. So yeah, as, as some of you know, I did have discus in there. So I um, had the discus um, as a freshwater set up in the six foot. Um, and then I started off smallish and had um, a two foot um, saltwater tank set up. Oh my gosh, look at this. The discus in the six foot and I had um, the two foot set up um, as a marine tank. And then once I started going to hang about, I was like, no, nah, I want my six foot to be a salt water tank and I thought yeah to all the expensive equipment and to be honest um, I didn't have the money to be spending thousands of dollars on you know a marine tank and I'd heard it had been possible to do it with a canister filter so um, that started me on my little adventure to show you guys that it is possible to do it um, you know on a bit of a budget because I certainly am on a bit of a budget so yeah moved everything over into the six foot tank and you know I still have my blue planet LED strip lights that I had from discus times on there half the reason why to be brutally honest with you half the reason why I do have such a you know cheaper setup is because that's all I can afford <laughs> to be brutally honest. And, you know, I still wanted to be able to have marine, but I wanted to show you what was possible um, on a marine tank on a budget. <laughs> Much as there's DIY stuff and, you know, it doesn't look the flashiest or the nicest. Um, 
it's still doable and yeah um and i yeah i guess i've always been the type of person that i like to make things work with what you have um so yeah anyway that's a bit of background as to why i guess with all the things about people saying it's impossible to have a marine tank with um canister filters i guess i wanted to disprove that and show that you can do it um it just you know takes a little bit more maintenance um and you don't need to have all the you know biggest most expensive equipment on your tank i, I realize there are people out there who you know have the money and they want to set up tanks that are just easy and run themselves because you know um not everyone wants to be cleaning out their canister filter most weekends um so I totally get that too. Guys, look at this. So yeah, um, I guess that sent me on my hunt to find um, you know potential sponsors who could sponsor me a you know brand new tank but it's the tank size and build that i believe is optimal for beginners into the hobby or you know yeah for people who are wanting to get into marine but you know have the money to you know do a build that is going to be really easy to maintain and simple to put together and to um, keep it running over the years so with that being said, um, I have been sponsored this new build um, and I just wanted to be open and honest with you guys about that. Um, I feel like if I'm being sponsored that you guys should know um, so that, you know, because I'm going to be explaining the products, um, I feel like I need to be honest that they have been sponsored, which I, can I just say, am completely blown away by, like... <laughs> completely blown away that I just want to take the opportunity to say a massive massive thank you to uh, Anthony from Aquarium Gallery, Ravi from Oz Aquariums, um, to Michael Newen um, for yeah even setting it up and um, to also Graham and all the other sponsors. Um, I am absolutely like this is something that I don't feel like I could have achieved financially by myself. It's a dream come true, really. I, it's, I've never actually had a brand new tank in my entire life. It's always been secondhand. Um, so even that in itself is just such a um, surreal feeling to get a brand new tank. Um, so I, yeah, just can't express my gratitude for that enough, really. Um, but yeah, as I did with my six foot tank, I'm going to be showing you, you know, the complete setup from beginning to end. Um, and this one is really going to be showing you a basic setup that can really run itself um, and be really simple to run and set up and maintain. So, but yeah, I felt like I needed to explain that to you guys and um, yeah, just tell you a little bit about me um, and yeah. Um, I feel like if I'm being sponsored, something that you guys should know. And also just to bring you along a little walk with me <laughs> really randomly out in the bush of Australia <laughs> um, to show you one of my favourite places. But yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, as I said, I'm going to be showing you the plumbing on the new build soon. But yeah, um, thought I'd make this video today. So I hope you've enjoyed and we will see you next time.